I was going to tell you the story of Gardner and Honey, but um, I can wait and I can tell you that story next year. Um, this is taken at the CZU Lightning Complex fire, though, at the top of Last Chance. Uh, Val knows these people. They live off grid. Um, their house, um, it was about f maybe four weeks after their house had burned. It's behind him. And, um, okay, I'm going to tell you a story anyway. It'll be really fast. Because I won't, I won't give the rest of my remarks. But I love this picture because I don't love what happened to Gardner, and he's telling me his fire story. And um, you know, Santa Cruz is very, it was a very difficult fire. It's a complex fire. It's lightning caused. There's nobody to sue. Um, but he is telling me this story about um, how his house burned and how he went, you know, how he tried to follow the rules and go down to this community, but. And then his backup plan was, in fact, to get um, into his water cistern while the mega fire came over him, which would have poached him, quite frankly. So I was like, that's probably not a good plan for your future fire you might have. Um, but one of the things that he said to me right after this, he's like, where are you going next? What are you, what are you doing? Because we were in an RV and it was 2020. And I'm like, oh, we're going to go up to the Almeida fire because, um, you know, we in Sonoma County, we have a large uh, Latino population and they have one up there and we want to go see what we can do and how we can be of service. And and he, he hung his head and he's like, oh, man, he's holding honey. He's like, God, I'm so busy right now. But if I could, I'd really like to go with you because I speak fluent Spanish. <laughs> 